Hey everybody. Let's see if anybody gets on. I haven't like waited for people to get on for a minute. I usually just jump into things. My lip is popping off. If y'all haven't already seen the picture strewn across my wall, I'm feeling myself today. And that's part of what I'm talking about. But um, whose song is that? Carlton's theme song just popped in my head. Okay. So, I'm not going to be on here long. I am starving, so I'm about to go get food. So, I'm not going to be on here long. But I am going to topic hop. Subject hop. I'm going to talk about a lot of different things in a couple minutes. Um, one is just, I just wanted to talk to y'all. Like, I felt really good today. And... Y'all know I do this transparency thing with y'all. 20 plus years of not letting nobody know my business and how I be really feeling. And now I'm an open book. Um, but that hasn't always come easy to me. Is like, hey, feeling good about myself and thinking that I'm pretty and stuff. That hasn't always been a thing for me. Um, and sometimes it's still not. So like days when I walk past my reflection, you be like, girl, you is cute. Who is you? <laughs> hey, Brandy. Um, I just have to relish in that um, and like I'm, I'm an anti-millennial I'm not a real millennial I don't take a lot of pictures but on days I be feeling like I'm cute I know I'm like beautiful every day but there be days I feel like I'm cute um let me look at my notes oh you know it's um on one of my pictures um because on one of my posts today um part of like the pictures I asked or the status post I don't know I said you know have you ever just looked yourself right in the eye and said, OMG, you are beautiful. Um, Because I legit did that earlier today. Hence the like mini photo shoot. Because I just was getting ready. Um, just put a little mascara on, a little lip. I love this lip. Shout out to that person that I um, reside with. Sidebar, also the reason I'm outside. Because my room, I guess, has really bad reception. And I have um, promised we had very specific um, conversations on where I'm allowed to go live in the house. Um this individual who shall remain nameless that I reside with doesn't want to be in my videos. But it's just because they're low-key. But um, <laughs> I was just getting ready today and I just felt really cute and stuff. Um, but somebody had commented on one of my posts. So like, no, I've never told myself that I look good. Like, I tell other people that. And I won't say I used to be that person. But, you know, I am one. The person that always gives, like, drive-by compliments. But um, I told him what I used to tell me is that I just start telling myself that I was beautiful and pretty until I believed it. And there are still some days I'm like, eh, you all right? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I was always told I was smart, that I was a leader, that I was this, that was that. Um, I wasn't really ever told I was ugly. I mean like by my siblings, so that don't count. But I heard all other things about me and I never heard that I was pretty. So I was just like, oh, maybe I'm not. Um, so it took me a while to kind of realize, like, no, Brandy, like, you're really gorgeous for real. But that's just, like, my little, you know, 30-second transparency moment is, I'm cute. And I can tell you with confidence and believe it. I used to have to tell myself that, but I really am beautiful, y'all. My vanity moment is over. <laughs> for real, the other things I wanted to talk about is, um, so I had, like, one of my first, like, Jesus moment, Jesus connections in Columbus. I'm loving it. It has not stopped. Um, it didn't happen at Walmart this time. I actually just stopped a woman. Um, she was delivering the mail to my apartment um, complex and asked her like something about the post office. And she just got to just giving me a word. And oh, look at me. I didn't think I had a, a scripture to attach to this video. But now I know which one it is. I think it's uh, Hebrews 412 for the word of God is quick and powerful. I have to make sure that's the right address um, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword uh, piercing to the dividing. Ah, dang it. Piercing even to bone and marrow oh there's a bug i'm gonna have to go in soon i'm gonna put the scripture up this is probably one of the most fried videos i've made in a while but i just kind of don't want to come on um but she kind of gave me a word and she kind of paused and like almost was crying because you could tell it was a word for herself because she was telling me i don't know what we I, I asked her about a post office and then um she's like yeah i was listening to the radio i'm a christian i'm like hey sis i'm a christian too i'm like i've been trying to figure out all the radio stations out here so like, oh i'm gonna let you know and we just had a good connection and out of nowhere, it was one of those moments where it's like, even though her mouth was moving, you could tell it was God talking. 
she was, you know, you know, when God gets you up in the morning, you know, make sure you stay up. And, you know, when he gets you up early, three, four, five in the morning, it's him trying to speak to you. That's the time he wants to talk to you when you don't have any distractions of the day. And she kind of just paused and hit one of these. And I could tell, like, even though she was telling me, she was telling herself, I've had those moments when I'd be like preaching to somebody I'm like, oh, that hit me too. So that was one thing. I had a good little Jesus connection. Um, and there's a couple of different topics. I've actually was scrolling through my notes and realized there's a lot of different topics um, I've thought about in the course of like me having been going live. Um, one topic I want to address is the whole Christians are supposed to be perfect trope. Um, I've been wanting to address that and I'm going to do just that. I don't know when I'll make that video. Um, but that's something I want to talk about with you all. And another video I think I'll do sooner rather than later. Um, something I had never really given much thought to, but in the last like six months or so, I've like noticed a pattern and just different things. And I want to make a video talking about musicians and their relationship with the church. Um, you know, like specifically like, you know, the drummers and the pianists and people who come and play during church. Um, and I am not an expert on that. So I'm actually going to pull on one of my brothers in Christ. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be kind of um, picking his brain because one, I trust you know, the things he says, because he, from what I know of him, is um, someone who stands on scripture. He stands on the word of God uh, more than on opinion and feelings. And he's also a musician. Um, he's a, a church musician. So that's someone I'm going to be um, tag teaming this topic with, um, because I've just like heard and seen things recently on just how musicians are treated, how they feel about the church. Um, if they're walking with Christ and things like that. Um, cause I know back when I was younger and used to go to church, I used to just think a musician is just like someone is in the choir. They're members of the church. They believe in God and they just, you know, here to volunteer their time like anyone else. And I realized like within the last few years that, you know, musicians are, a lot of them are paid to play for church and a lot of them don't attend the church they're at. And, um, there's just some different things that I've kind of been hitting my ear that I want to look at more so part of this video too i wanted to ask you guys anyone who is watching now we're going to watch later if you guys know anyone who is a musician in the church um any type of way whether they just kind of take gigs and play at churches they don't attend or if they are members of the church they play at um can y'all connect us because i have questions i want um clarity and insight on things um so if y'all know anyone who whether they're drummers on the piano guitar or whatever um, connect me if you guys will and I'm going to make a status as well because I really want to talk to different musicians that are attached to churches because um, that'll be one of my next videos but that was it I told y'all I wouldn't be on long it's outside and bugs apparently like me um, and I'm hungry so I'm going to see y'all later I love y'all bye I'm going to give y'all one last look shout out to my sis Bree Bree for getting me together once again shout out to the homie for the lip Shout out to my sis. I'm going to post a picture. I was trying to get a really good selfie with me and my shirt. Um, I promise it's not like a brand promotion. But my sister saw this shirt and thought of me and got it for me. And I am I felt very loved. Um, oh, wait. Y'all see the way that light is hitting this cheek? I'm done. I love y'all. Bye.